touch their hearts of gold Peace on earth, goodwill to men From heaven's all-gracious King And if for o'er its Bible sounds The blessed angels sing And if for o'er its Bible sounds The blessed angels sing Okay, before we get started in our staff meeting today, there's several things I'm extremely disappointed about that we need to visit about before we can get anything else done. Christy, you're the all-time winningest coach here. At this point, all you've got is 330 victories. At what point in time are we going to get to 400 victories? Coach Monica, a year ago, we're 9-3, and three, we're in a bowl game. We need to be in a bowl game every year. What, what, what is the problem? Don't, don't give me excuses. Don't give me excuses. Coach Aspel, I am sick and tired of you recruiting girls from these all-American runners from Ireland. I can't understand anything they say. Oh, they do speak English. No, no excuses. Coach Klein, our men's basketball team has been to the NCAA tournament eight out of the last ten years. Can you tell me why it's not ten out of ten? Well, yeah, shut, I just, shut up. Don't give me excuses. Coach Wilbers. You've only had like 220 wins, seven All-Americans. Why are we not averaging two All-Americans on our team every year? I don't know, Coach. Don't know. That's the wrong answer. I need more All-Americans. Coach Davis, pay attention. Coach Davis, can you explain to me why our tennis team has not beat Stanford yet? Coach, they're Division I. Don't give me excuses. Coach McSweeney, softball. We only won 49 games last year and finished 10th in the nation. Can you explain to me when we're going to win over 50 games? And don't even get me started about baseball. A couple years ago, we're number one in the region. We get to host the NCAA tournament, and it didn't happen last year. At what point in time are we going to be number one again? That's not a rhetorical question. When are we going to be number one in the nation again? Coach, if it makes you feel better, the golf teams have got off to a great start this fall. Yeah, we both won tournaments this fall. Don't talk to me about winning some piddly golf tournament. Talk to me when you win a national championship. I'm tired of hearing excuses. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm canceling the holiday party. Coach, we've had this party every year for the last 20 years. Well, we're not having it this year. Dude, what's wrong with Freddy? Well, it looks like he missed a stain of concussion. Well, you can get him ready in two days. I'll do that some no, Don't give me excuses. Freddy, you need to get ready to play. Coach Golden, Coach Golden. I need to play. I've been watching our softball team work out. We don't have a single girl that can squat 600 pounds. Coach, that's four times their body weight. Don't give me excuses. Don't give me excuses. Good afternoon, Tech Athletics. Hey, Frankie. Oh, great. That's awesome. Mom will be so happy. Okay, let me go speak to Coach Mullins and see if I can leave a little bit early today. Love you, man. All right, bye. Hey, Coach, can I ask you something real quickly? Peg, I've been around this campus all day today, and there's not a soul working. But Coach, it's Christmas Eve! Bah, humbug. So I was just wondering if I could take off early to get ready for family since my brother's coming in for Christmas today? Absolutely not. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got to get ready for 2017. But Coach, it's Christmas Eve! Peggy, if you value your job, you'll stay and get your work done. Yes, sir.
Amy, what are you doing here? I'm not Amy, Coach Mullins. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. What, what are you talking about? I've come to haunt you. You seem to have forgotten all the great things about Arkansas Tech. See, we have such a storied history here at Arkansas Tech. Nine conference championships out of ten sports and four NCAA regional championships in women's basketball, softball, and men's and women's golf. And two national championships in women's basketball. See, even our football team has had a lot of success. Ten postseason appearances and an NAIA championship. See, Coach Mullins, even you've had success here. Have you forgotten? But your day is not done yet, Coach Mullins. The ghost of Christmas present will be here to show you the recent success of Arkansas Tech. Mm. Are you the ghost of Christmas present? That I am, Coach Mullins, and it sure seems like you have forgotten just how great things have been around here in past years. Look at all these championship trophies. We've won conference titles in baseball, softball, basketball, golf. Five times we have been Great American Conference's all sports champions. I hope now you see just how great things are at Arkansas Tech. Our student athletes are successes athletically, academically, and socially. We're among the nation's leaders in community service hours. I, I don't know how I didn't notice these things. I don't think you realize just how dire your situation is. Your life, your career, your legacy all hang in the balance. If it doesn't change, Ghost of Christmas present, where did you go? Are you the ghost of Christmas future? Yes. Are you going to show me my future? I would just like to thank you guys for all the success that you've had this year. I know you put in a lot of extra hours and I value every single one of you. you you're just such great influences on these young student athletes and that's just priceless. Starbucks for everybody. Isn't it so great to have an AD that actually cares about us? Yeah, I'm so glad Coach Burns has passed on. He was awful. Spirit, is this truly what my coaches think about me? If you do not change, this is the future it will bring. I promise you, just give me a second chance. I can change. Give me a second chance. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still the athletic director. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, sir. Please take the rest of the day off. Are you sure, coach? We still have a lot of work to do. Don't worry about that. I insist that you go be with your family. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're thank welcome. you. Thank you so much, coach, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Peggy. I hope you enjoy your family. Thank you. Hey, everybody! Hey. Glad to see you! Hey. Glad to see you! I can't tell you how proud that I am to be your boss and to be hanging around with you and just enjoying you. Oh, I'm just, I'm the luckiest man in the world to have such a great group to work with and so successful. Golly, I'm glad to see you, Coach Wilbur. <laughs> On behalf of Arkansas Tech Athletics, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.